So, uh, in studying something called Aircrete, which is, I went down a rabbit hole online studying that. It led me to a couple other things. And basically, I have a new texture technique for sculpting. And you can get textures like I have on my turtle here. If you see all that, and these nice hanger downers right there. Uh, and basically, I'm whipping the clay. And how I am doing that is I have a clay extruder here, which produces those little worms. And I have a bunch in here already. And I'm just going to whip, I'm going to whip this. First thing I have to do is get all of the clay out of the extruder. That gets it, you don't want to put, just put a big chunk in there. You want it to be extruded or, or chopped up or something. Uh, and then I want to put a little bit of water in there. Not a lot. And then some dish soap. Like more dish soap than water. Because I want a good whip froth. And I just took a piece of wire and I made myself a beater for my drill. And I'm gonna mix that up. And immediately starts foaming. And I have this, this is, it's a little thin, it's a little wet. I'm going to add a little more clay because I want it to be a little more dense than that. Now I'm getting what is called stiff peaks, and that's exactly what I want. I'll load up the brush, and I'll push and pull, and that's going to give me just this nice texture. It does take a while for it to dry, but it's a texture that I couldn't sculpt by hand. Obviously, the thicker that you get the clay in there, uh, the bigger the peaks that you can get.